Welcome to another Sims 3 house building video. Today we are working on a starter home for only one sim. Uh, the budget for this house is 16,500 simoleons and for me that is really difficult to come in under budget. I really did not think with this house that I was going to make it. I came in very close somewhere around 15,600 I believe. I'm not really too sure. Um, as you can see right here where I'm working on the house, I wanted to do an L-shaped staircase. And as I was doing it, the stairs were just giving me all kinds of problems. Um, I eventually do get them figured out. Uh, and then I decided that I want to do other things along with the staircase and found out that I had to completely redo it all over again. Uh, as you can see, I have finally gotten them stairs figured out by now and I start doing the remaining part of the house. While I was doing the roof, I had decided there in the front of the house that I wanted to have really big picture windows and that is where I end up having more troubles with the windows and the stairs again and have to completely redo them. Um, right here is where I'm picking out the windows and notice that they will not go where I want them to go. So. I decided to make it a little bit wider so they could go in the center and then realize that the way I had done these the stairs and everything that it only actually has one wall there in the front for the windows instead of two. Um, so I end up having to completely redo it yet again. Here I am struggling with that roof because I made it wider and it just wasn't wanting to match up the way I wanted it to and ended up just settling with the way it currently is now. Uh, here I have just noticed that the uh, the windows weren't going in properly and what I'm going to end up having to do is remove the roof again and go in and actually add what's called a freeze level at the very top in order to get the windows to go in properly. Um, as you can see I do mess with this area of the build for quite some time. In fact the building process of this video is probably about half of the video. Uh, it was only about an hour and a half build which is pretty quick for me. I am rather a slow builder. I am very picky and determined depending on what it is that I'm trying to create in my builds and as you can see here I am lowering the freeze level that way it's not too high. I, I really didn't want a lot on the top there above the second floor. Um, so here I am I had to redo the stairs again in order to get it to create what I was looking for there in the front of the house. Um, here I am trying to get it to lower. There's a few times it was not wanting to want to cooperate as you may be able to see. Um, I do eventually though finally get it figured out and then I really don't like it when the stairs go in and there is nothing underneath them. So I had to go back in and add the wall and then I was happy with that and then continued to work on the windows, the front. And as you can see now the windows are placing where I wanted them to place in the first place. So now we gotta put that roof back on again it won't take quite as long the second time since now I know how it needs to look so that part goes a little bit quicker and then here I am putting in the floor um, I end up working on the outside for a little bit instead uh, sometimes it takes me a long time to figure out what kind of doors and windows and everything else that I would like to do but normally I don't have a budget and in this case since I had a budget I kinda had to choose as cheaply as I possibly could so that kinda made that process a little bit easier. Um, here uh, that top window on the left that I end up putting in that does end up getting deleted. Uh, I had decided I really didn't like it. I wasn't actually happy with it when I first put it in but I left it in just to kinda see what would happen after the siding and of course I'm here I'm picking a vertical siding because since I had done them stairs those are the kind of sidings you would like need to do that way you don't see the wall come down um, here I couldn't figure out why that kept going in white it turns out that for some reason 
The game was wanting to make everything where it would paint the entire section, even though that's not what I had had picked. So I had to keep constantly changing that over and over. Uh, normally I have troubles picking what kind of colors I want. Uh, this time it actually ended up being very easy. Uh, green just seemed to be the color that I wanted. Uh, and then I decided I wanted to do a little bit of stone on the front and realized that I really couldn't change those up there to have the stone. So I just took those out all together. Uh, so we we're just going to finish up the trim here on the siding. And then right here's where, you know, I'm look while I'm doing this, I'm looking at that window again and deciding whether or not I want it. I do end up taking it out. I'm not really 100% sure where exactly I take it out, though. Um, it's really quick when I take it out. You don't actually see me do it. So just finishing up the siding here a little bit. And then now we're going to take a look at the floor plan. Um, this, like I said, is only for one sim. And yes, that bathroom there is very small, um, and there is no sink in it. Uh, the sink will be in the kitchen. To save a little bit of money, I decided to have just one sink and put it in the kitchen. Um, when I was working on the uh, wallpapers here, um, I really like this wood trim. I use it all of the time. And what I usually do is I always pick a nice, warm colors for the trim. Uh, a lot of my houses are in decorated in a very warm color. I really don't like using much in the way of white, mostly because in this game the light reflects off of it really bad. I really don't like the way that looks, so a lot of times I will use darker colors just to help minimize how much of the glare from those lights. And then here, with it being an open landing like like it is, I really wasn't too fond of that trim going through the center right there. So I was trying to figure out what I could do to get rid of it. I ended up just settling on a plain, plain wallpaper, nothing special about it, and then continued on. Um, I really didn't want to mess too much time with that at all. <clears throat> Here I am working on the colors that I want for the windows. Um, I usually, I like having the trim for the inside of the windows to be the same as the surrounding trim and doors. Um, I do feel that that looks best. And then um, I go through and then I re, and then I move them. That way they are, you know, the white on the outside and then the wood on the inside. And I realized I had to go and do them again because I realized they were not exactly the same as the big picture windows in the front. So I had to go through and completely redo all those windows again. I really don't like doing things more than once, but sometimes with those windows, they're not always set up the same. So uh, here I am working on the master bedroom for the tr uh, wallpapers and then now the landing. Um, I was putting up the railings and noticed that railing just looked like it was going inside the floor. I really didn't care for that, but I didn't, at the time, didn't think there was anything I could do about it. So I was doing this and then saw, hey, you know, that that went right down the wall. And I thought, well, that looks a whole lot better. So that's what I ended up doing. Um, here I am working on the kitchen. Um, I really don't care for the backsplashes that get put on these counters at all. You'll notice that a lot of times I do merge them into the wall. They are, they still work even though they're merged a little bit into the wall. Uh, mostly because I like to put my own type of stone decorations and stuff in the back, preferably. And since I was doing a starter home, my cabinets had to be on the cheaper side. So I got stuck with ones with the, the uh, backsplash on the back. Uh, there's one table and chair um, that's only a single bed. As you could see, the master bed, a double bed, just would not fit. I really don't know if it would have fit in that one section with half a tile on one side or another. Um, it seems like I had tried it once before, and I just can't remember if the Sims could use it or not. So I decided to go with a single bed. I thought I was doing really good on the budget with this house, and then I realized I hadn't even wallpapered the bathroom. So I end up having to go back in and do that, and I just try to pick some cheap colors, 
something simple that I could use without going over budget. Here I am deciding on my roof color and I'm going to do a little bit of landscaping. Um, the la I'm really, really not good at landscaping. It's going to be the one of the areas that I just am not very good at it. I just tend to throw some plants down and hope they look good and then just leave them go. Um, as you can see, they're pretty simple, nothing fancy about them whatsoever. Uh, I'm doing a little bit of outside lighting. I really hate it when houses do not have outside lighting. That really bothers me. I went to do, you know, a ceiling because at freeze level and realized because of the stairs, I could not put a ceiling on that. So we have a double or a extra high ceiling on the top floor there. So I had to go and redo all the trims because I didn't like the idea of the trim going through the center like that. So we ended up putting a plane on the bottom and then the one with the trim on top. Here we come to the screenshots of the video and this is where I'm going to go ahead and leave you for the, for the day. Uh, thank you for watching and don't forget to like, uh, subscribe and comment. Thank you and have a great day.